Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Actions are a set of Photoshop commands that you can record and then play back in the future to execute automatic changes on images. Most commands and toolbox tool operations can be recorded in Actions. Photoshop already ships with several pre-created actions that you can use to apply creative effects, like a water reflection, for example. So this can be a helpful tool in a situation where perhaps you have several images that you have to make all of the same changes to. So you can record your actions and then play those actions back on each of the images so that you don't have to reproduce each of the steps by hand every single time. We use the Actions panel to record, play, and edit actions. You can view the Actions panel by selecting Window and then Actions from the menu bar. You can expand and collapse the sets, actions, and commands that are listed in the Actions panel by clicking the right pointing triangle to the left of the set, action, or command to expand its contents. That will display its contents and point the arrow downward. Like that. Now you click the downward pointing arrow again to collapse the contents again. You can click on the individual actions to select them. You can even hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click on two non-adjacent actions to select all actions between and including the two actions upon which you clicked. When you're ready to record an action, bear in mind a few rules. First, when you are recording actions involving dialog box and panel settings, only settings that are changed are recorded. Also, modal operations and tools use the units currently specified by the ruler for measurements. A modal operation is one that makes you press enter to return a value, like the crop and the transform commands do. Many of the selection tools also record ruler position as well. Also, you can record the play command in an action to call another action from an action that's played. Now, when you create a new action, any commands that you use or tools you select and use are added to the action until you stop recording. To create a new action, open a file, we have two open here, and then click the Create New Action button in the Actions panel. You'll see a series of buttons down here at the bottom. We have, for example, Begin Recording, Play Selection, Create a New Set, create new action, and then delete. So we're going to click on create new action. In the new action dialog box, type a name for the action into the name text box. And we'll just call this work images for now. You can specify a set for the action by using the set drop down. You'll see the ones that come preloaded with Photoshop, we'll just leave that under image effects. Now a set can contain many actions and you can create a new set by clicking the create new set button at the bottom of the actions panel and then typing a name for the set into the text box that appears. You can use the function key drop down located right here to select a function key to assign as a shortcut key for the action's playback if you wish. After you do that, if I were to select one of these for example, you can check the shift and control checkboxes to assign those keys to the keyboard shortcut as well. So in this case, control and F2. We'll select none for right now. You can then use the color dropdown to select the color for the action in the actions panel to help you differentiate them if you like. You could select red, for example. Now, when you're ready to record your actions, you just click the record button right here. Now, the record button in the actions panel will turn red to indicate that Photoshop is recording your actions. Now, you just perform the activities that you want to record 
and Photoshop will record the commands and tools that you use and what you do with them for future playback. So for example, let's say we want to crop this image. Click the crop tool. We'll crop. Click enter. And let's say then we also want to go up to image and auto adjust the tone and then auto adjust the color. Then let's say we want to change the image size. We'll go to image and image size. Then we'll change our pixel dimensions, let's say to 250 by 250. And we'll click OK. Now we'll have made our changes. To stop recording, you just click the stop button in the actions panel. So remember we have all these buttons and we're looking for the stop button and that's located right here. So just give that a click or you can press escape on your keyboard. Now to resume recording in the same action, you select start recording from the options menu in the actions panel. So you could click here and then you could choose start recording again to add to that recording. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.